I've gotten a couple of requests uh, to show my render settings for Sony Vegas for my Sedona video uh, using the new Canon Rebel T2i or 550D and so I decided probably the best way was just to show you on the screen here I know it's probably not the greatest quality but give you an idea because I did spend a lot of time experimenting seeing what what came out the best for these settings and for YouTube so first off if you open the project you go up to this little thing here this and that opens up your project settings and so what I do is for a 24p project I open I go down here and I go down to HD 1080 24p 1920 it's actually 23.96 to be exact progressive and then what I do pixel format 32 bit floating point full range of colors um, that takes a little bit longer to render but uh, it's it's really great I think for the colors in the T2i videos and then for render full resolution quality when you're not quite done with your project yet I'd suggest good so that you can make a quicker render but when you're done you select best right here and then motion blur Gaussian Gaussian I guess is what it's called is what I've normally done I haven't really noticed a huge difference with the other ones but that's what I do and then blend fields and I don't adjust source media to better match project or render setting settings okay so done so then what I do is when I'm ready I've got the timeline done right here everything's all set the edit so now what I do is I go to of course you know this file render as and then that comes up you name your video and then I'll focus into the most important part which I found best and easiest is I do MPEG2 MPEG2 and then you pull down here for DVD I do DVD Architect 24P NTSC if I want to preview it on TV but for the internet I do this HDV 1080 24p can't see it there you go it's like that and then it shows you your properties here you've got 16-bit uh, stereo sound included and it's 23.976 frames per second progressive 1440 by 1080 very high quality now what you want to do is you want to do stretch video to fill out frame size and then whatever you have to do with your loop region or anything like that so then that's what you do and you hit you name it you make sure you know where it's going so you can find it you've got an M m2t file mpeg2 and then you just say save and it'll start rendering it'll take a little while but uh, that's what I use it has everything included and so thank you for watching my videos and I hope that helps you uh, those of you who have commented wondering what my Vegas settings are thank you